Hi, welcome everyone, including those uh, listening on 95.7 The Game, the Warriors flagship station. I'm Kevin Dana, voice of the Santa Cruz Warriors, and up here on the dais with us today, we have Warriors GM Mike Dunleavy Jr., uh, Brandon Pajemski, Pajemski, the number 19 overall selection of the Warriors out of Santa Clara, and Trace Jackson Davis, the number 57 overall selection traded uh, from Washington uh, in the draft. So we'd like to introduce our guests as well, joining Brandon here today. Uh, in the front row is his mother, Barbara, his dad, John, stepfather, Greg West, coach Antonio Curro, and agent Bill Duffy, along with Chris Gilbert and Ession Magatha. And then joining Trace today is his agent in the front row, Max Lipset. So we'd like uh, to take some of your questions in a little bit, but first, Mike, uh, let's start with your breakdown of Brandon and Trace. Obviously, a couple guys you really liked. What did you like about these guys when you scouted them, and, and how do you see them fitting into what you see uh, going on here with Golden State? Yeah, I think, um, first of all, we're really excited to have these guys add them into the mix for us. So um, felt like coming out of last night, just, just a really successful evening. Uh, as far as these guys go, I think we're talking about two really productive college players that – have a proven track record in terms of what they've done. And to bring that into the mix for us um, is, is something that we value. Uh, you talked about their competitiveness, their skill level, and um, you know, just most importantly, their character. You know, they've just, they're good guys. We've met with them, we've, we've interviewed them, we've watched film with them, worked them out. I mean, you guys went through the gauntlet and um, they, they survived it. And uh, we've just been really impressed with them in this evaluation process the last couple weeks and throughout their college careers where we felt like they'd be great fits for uh, the Warrior program. Brandon, welcome back to the Bay. You played your uh, last year college ball at Santa Clara, not too far away, just an hour south of here. What's it like for you to be able to stay in the Bay Area? Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. Um, a lot of friends back here uh, that texted me last night that are super happy that I get to stay so they come watch me play. Uh, and my family loves it out here. So uh, it's almost like a second home already. And Trace, uh, you played at a very storied school in Indiana, and just you know, with all the great players that come through there, you're all-time leading rebounder, all-time leading shot blocker, number three all-time in scoring. I mean, when you think about your college career, what does being able to accomplish all that at such a, a blue blood program mean to you? Um, for me, it's really just um, just all the time and work that I put in, uh, just working on my game, and then having a coach like Coach Woodson come in and his NBA experience and just helping me be the best player that I can possibly be. And so um, it's, it's a blessing to leave my small mark on that program. And um, I, I really enjoyed my four years there. We'd like to open it up to questions. We have, uh, we have Mike with a uh, uh, mic to, to pass to you guys. Uh, just raise your hand and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get your question. Hi, Trace. Um, Warrior fans really enjoyed seeing your tweet last night. Uh, just curious as to what were your thoughts behind that and just, you know, why do you believe so firmly in what you can be able to do? Um, I think the biggest thing for me is um, I always play with a chip on my shoulder. Um, even coming out of high school, going to a school like Indiana, um, a lot of people doubted my abilities. And then after four years, what I was able to accomplish there was um, above and beyond what everyone thought. And so um, it's the next step in my journey, and I know I'm going to have to work, and it's going to be hard, but at the same time, uh, I believe in my abilities. And uh, let God handle the rest, but uh, I'm ready to work. And so um, kind of last night just watching uh, teams and picks just going and going and kind of getting to the end, um, just basically said I'm fired up and I'm ready to go, honestly. Hey, what's up, Brandon? Welcome to the Bay, man. When you when you think about your own game and the way this Warriors team prefers to play, do you kind of see that as like a perfect marriage between like program and player? Yeah, 100%. I think uh, – you know, I'm a basketball player that knows how to pass, dribble, and shoot, um, you know, which is an embodiment of the Warriors program. Uh, you know, I think I'm a pretty smart basketball player, and uh, the Warriors have a lot of smart basketball players as well. So I just think it's a perfect fit both ways. Uh, Brandon Trace, for both of y'all, Jason Dumas, Crown for Sports. As you guys go through this process and you're talking to so many teams and you, you're getting info from your agents and from coaches, GMs, you don't know what to believe, I guess, sometimes. Did you guys have any inkling that the Warriors organization was really interested in you all and you could actually end up here when you were going through the process? Yeah, I think uh, I worked out for them a couple weeks ago, and uh, it was probably my best experience through the pre-draft process. And, uh, you know, it just felt like a, a family. I feel like in our interview uh, with Mike and the rest of the staff, it felt like more of a conversation than an interrogation. 
And, uh, you know, I always just thought it would be a perfect fit. Yeah, um, same way. Um, I kind of had them at the beginning of the draft process. Um, we did an interview in Chicago, then they came and watched me in L.A., and then I came out the day after and worked out for them in this facility. And so um, we built a very, very strong relationship. And um, obviously it doesn't help that uh, Mike's brother is my uh, agent as well. And so that's always, that's always a good thing. Mike, I actually wanted to follow up with you know, the pre-draft uh, process. You brought in close to 40 guys to work out. What did you like about the the workouts with Trace and with Brandon that that stood out to you? And, and how much did that make a how much did that help your decision in selecting these guys? Yeah, I mean, look, I think for the most part, we evaluate these guys over the whole course of their career. So it's not about one specific workout, but both of them, first and foremost, their willingness to come in. in this day and age, there's not a lot of, we get a lot of calls from agents and there, there's a lack of willingness to come in and compete. And these guys had no problem with that. They came in, they, they played well, they performed. And um, honestly, I don't, I don't really even remember how well they shot the ball or what they did exactly. I just remember them as like the, the personalities and the people they were. And so I think, um, just having that sense of what we're getting as a player and a person really kind of put it over the top. And, you know, fortunately, both these guys were there when we were able to pick. It's Brandon Trace, Kendra Andrews, ESPN. This is for both of you. Either through what you've watched from afar with the Warriors, any conversations that you guys have had, what, what do you think of the way that this team works with and develops younger players? And, and what do they have put in place here, whether it be the coaching staff, the players who are already in this franchise, will help develop your game and, and bring you guys along? Uh, for me personally, I just think, uh, for me and Trace, I think it's all about being a sponge uh, from day one. Obviously, a lot of veterans on the team that have been through it, a lot of championships. Coach Kerr has won nine of them. So it's just a lot of uh, veteran leadership that will help guys like me and Trace. And, uh, you know, you want to win the championship now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just piggybacking, piggybacking off what he said, um, just being a sponge and being able to um, absorb all the knowledge that these veterans have. And um, they like to play in space. And we, me and him both like to pass the ball. And um, we're, not, we're very unselfish players. And so um, I think it's going to be a great fit for both of us. Uh, Trace, uh, given your, your dad's history in the NBA, what has he been able to pass on to you about playing next to great shooters? Um, the biggest thing that he's he's told me about this process is um, and the future is just being consistent, um, finding a routine and going in and every day and just working your hardest and um, that's going to help you get to where you want to be. He played 15, 16 years in the league and he said the biggest thing that he got out of it was always being consistent. So that's the biggest thing that he's passed on to me. Hey, Brandon, Dalton Johnson, NBC Sports Bay Area. How were you able to break out so much last season after transferring to Santa Clara, and where do you see your game expanding in the NBA game with the Warriors? Yeah, I think uh, it was all about opportunity and, and confidence that uh, my coaches gave me. I think I was the same player I was at Illinois. It was just uh, in a different light because of the opportunity. Um, but, you know, going forward, um, you know, I get to play alongside the two best shooters in the world. Um, so I can't wait. Uh, like he said, just being a sponge and adapting to everything. Hey, Trace, uh, Damon Bruce, WIUS, Bloomington. Um, it is really good to see you out here, and obviously, you know, you have that NBA family DNA in you. You also played for a college coach who's got NBA DNA all over him. What did Mike Woodson tell you to really prepare you for this moment, the first month of your career, and what it's supposed to be like and how it's supposed to feel for you? Um, he said, enjoy it. Um, you only get to go through this process one time. And so, um, he said, be in the best shape of your life. Um, but other than that, just go out there and compete. And he knows I'm a competitor and, um, I'm going to play my hardest every time I'm out there on the court. Hey, what's up, Trace? Uh, CJ Holmes, San Francisco Chronicle. Sorry, I didn't say that the first time. But, uh, <laughs> Mike was telling us, uh, yesterday that one thing he was really impressed by you was how your passing really developed over your, you know, last couple of years in college. What do you attribute to that and how important is that, you know, when evaluating the way this team likes to play and being a big man in the system? Yeah, um, I just think I credit that to Coach Woodson um, and just myself for watching film, how defenses, defenses guard and uh, my teammates, honestly. Um, but at the end of the day, I just think it shows that even being older, um, there's still areas of the, my game that I can improve on. And just because I'm an uh, older player coming out doesn't mean that I can't um, unlock new, new things that I can do on the court.
Brandon, uh, 8.8 .8 over here to your right here, 8.8 .8 .8 rebounds a game. How does a guard do that, and can you get anything close to that in, in the NBA, you think? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, a few seasons, I think I'm a triple-double guy in the NBA. Um, you know, like I said, I like to fill the box score in every which way possible, but in terms for, for being a point guard, I think, you know, getting the rebound just makes it easier for your team just to get out and run um, instead of having to outlet the ball. But, you know, I go every time, and obviously some of them are going to come fall right in your arms. Is that just a mindset or you're determined to go get – how, how – just practically, how are you getting so many rebounds? Yeah, I think uh, you go every time and, um, you know, it's just the want to get the ball. And then, you know, just from watching people shoot, how the ball bounces, all that kind of stuff plays into it. But it's ultimately how, how bad you want to go get it. For both of you, how would you just describe the whirlwind of the last 24 hours? Uh, it was crazy. Um, I think about – 15 hours ago, um, I was sitting there waiting for my name to get called and then getting about three hours of sleep and hopping on a plane and coming out here. But um, it's been a great, it's been a blessing and a great experience. Yeah, for me, uh, obviously I was in the green with my family and, uh, you know, it was once a lifetime experience and uh, just so blessed to hear my name called quite early in the draft. Um, but yeah, it was a great night, celebrated with my family, my agency, and then hopped on a plane from New York and came out here. While we uh, get the uh, next question set up, uh, Brandon, uh, I wanted to ask you, you know, you mentioned in one of your interviews that fellow Bronco turned first rounder Jalen Williams was instrumental in, in helping you come to Santa Clara, transferring from Illinois. I was just curious, what's your relationship like with uh, one of the best rookies in the NBA last year in Jalen Williams? And, and, and what role did he play in helping you uh, decide on Santa Clara? Yeah, I mean, our relationship is really good through this whole process. Um, you know, we kind of both started in the same situation, him just a year ago. And, you know, any question I ever had about the process, it could be little, it could be big, uh, I just turned to him and, you know, he's really good about communicating with me. So super thankful to have that. But then, uh, you know, going to Santa Clara from a Big Ten school, um, just seeing what he did and that kind of boosted my confidence um, that if he could do it, I could do it too. And, you know, here we are a year later. Now, Trace, you see you, tr over here, Trace. You seem like a really mild-mannered guy, right? But after watching your highlights, I noticed that you don't necessarily treat the rim so kindly. So I think I asked Jonathan Kaminga this question a couple seasons back. But when attacking the rim, where do you channel that aggression? Um, it's just I think it's just how I am. Um, just having a switch, and um, when, when you're in between the lines, I feel like I'm a I'm a different person. I'm a competitor, and so. Um, just try to attack and just rip the room off, honestly. That's the biggest thing for me. For both of you guys, have you talked to any of your teammates yet? Or even did you guys have any, you know, connections to the Warriors before you came here that, you know, were able to get some intel or ask about the organization? Both of you? Um, I, I haven't really. Um, I saw that Steph followed me on uh, Instagram, so that was really cool. But... Uh, other than that, not really, but um, I can't wait to meet him and uh, can't wait to get started with the process. Yeah, same for me. Steph and uh, Kavan followed me last night, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> Quick follow-up there. Mike, you actually, if my basketball reference uh, researching is correct, you played half a season with Dale Davis on the Golden State Warriors. I I'm curious uh, what it was like playing with uh, Trace's dad. What do you remember of that I experience? Oh, you're really dating me here. Uh, that was a long time ago. But uh, actually, my dad coached him, and um, I played with him here at the Warriors. So it was a short stint, but, um, you know, Dale's a great guy, great teammate. Um, and uh, it's, it's amazing the way this league comes full circle. So here we are today, and having the opportunity to draft his son is pretty neat. Brandon, as a guy who likes to step the stat sheet and sees himself as a triple-double guy down the road, who do you try to mold your game after, and why those guys? Yeah, uh, you know, I picked up basketball seven years ago, and my favorite player is Mano Ginobili. And just seeing the way he plays and, you know, his mentality towards things and how he's a winner is definitely someone I model my game after. Got any other questions? Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and ask one. Uh, Trace, uh, you, you mentioned kind of the impact that Mike Woodson had on you. In your first couple of years, you played under Archie Miller, and I, I know ch coaching changes uh, at the college level, they can be an adjustment. What was that adjustment like for you, and what did you learn from both of those guys? Um, yeah, they, they both, both brought um, different values. 
Um, they both coached a different way. Um, Coach Woodson was more of a um, a talker and explainer, and Coach Coach Miller liked to yell, which um, I think I honestly I th feel like I'm really coachable. So either of those ways are good with me. But honestly, just learning new things, um, just coming into college and having Coach Miller start me as a freshman and being able to play through mistakes was huge. And then Coach Woodson um, letting me bring the ball up and down the court, and make passes, and ex start expanding my game I thought was huge. And so. Um, I definitely brought, um, got key um, things from both of them. You're known for being a high energy, high effort guy, really good face up game uh, on the low block. I mean, how, how do you see your skills and what you were able to accomplish at Indiana translating to this level? Um, just my motor. Um, I think the way that I, I run the floor um, can bring the ball up the floor um, and then match up problems on defense with slower guys bringing them out then being able to pass the ball to open shooters, the best shooters in the world. And so I think that it's a great fit for me, honestly. Trace, you mentioned you're 23, you know, obviously not one of the younger guys in this draft. Is there some kind of advantage you're thinking you might have, though, coming in against some 19-year-olds, some, you know, some guys who aren't as experienced as you? What, what edge do you think you have with that? Um, th there's just an experience factor, um, just how many games I've played, especially having Coach Woodson. Um, some guys are 19, some of them didn't even play in college basketball. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it's a man's league. It's the NBA. you got the greatest players in the world, so you're going to have to go out there and compete, and that's what I'm ready to do. But um, being older, being a little bit more veteran and experienced, I think is going to be good for me. So We have time for one or two more questions, so if you want to get those questions in, uh, now would be the time. And uh, while you decide if you want to ask another question or two, Brandon, I uh, wanted to throw it back to you. And, you know, I'm, I'm sure you have a lot of confidence in yourself as a player. But if I told you back in October of 2022 20, that in five months you would be the WCC Co-Player of the Year, WCC Newcomer of the Year, then in eight months you, know, you would be a top 20 draft pick, you would say what? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Cool. Well, uh, that will conclude this portion of uh, the draft press conference. And now we'd like uh, to do a photo op with uh, Brandon, Mike, and Trace. So we'll show them uh, your, their jersey numbers. And yeah, here we go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.